up guys this is adam from 3dmodsworld.com welcome to another maya tutorial and today i'm gonna show you how you're gonna create this really nice uh, column destruction in the extra effects simulation and it's gonna be really easy to do and uh, pretty fast as well so without further delay let's get started okay so this is the scene i have as you can see it's uh, pretty simple i have uh, the ground plane here and i have these columns uh, let's go uh, wireframe and shaded I already did the shattering on them, so if I run the, the, the tool, the X-Shatter FX, uh, you know, you can use the poly shattering uh, generator here. For example, I can just select pieces here and then shatter them here, you know, just do extra pieces, uh, shattering. Uh, what else? So, yeah, we can just shatter as you can see. So now, uh, let me select, I need just to make sure I have these objects here added to where they need to be uh, so let's see uh, let's select these guys oh, this guy doesn't belong here so let's move this to column 3 and then we have these guys here let me just press wireframe here ok so those guys go to column 3 these guys go to column 4 Done. So you can see here, I get uh, like shattered pretty quickly. And this is also the animation I have. If I move this guy here and press play, so they move, they hit this guy, and then this guy is fall down here. So let's break these guys apart now. So this is like let's say the animation you get for this shot, and you want to have uh, you know the simulation. So let's see. So around frame like uh, 60 here, I go, it's gonna get hit. Uh, so first let me put the ground into another layer and I'll call this ground save and then I want to reference it okay so let's select this guy here and then isolate it and then I want to just select these uh, guys uh, here just uh, just this top section here I want it to break uh, let's go to frame one and uh, let's just generate a regular demolition on this so convert to dynamics and then generate demolition so the mission completed so now if we press play uh, it's disconnected from it because it's uh, and it's an own group so we can hold this group uh, let's go back to frame one hold this group and then put it to column uh, three no let's undo uh, add it to column four okay so let's press play it's the same thing uh, let's select you can select one of these objects and then uh, the up arrow key and then you can select the demolition group so let's see so frame well, we want it when it's hit here so frame 58 let's say 58 uh, sim is 0 and then 59 it goes to 1 so let's press play so it breaks and it flies like that because first of all we don't have the gravity so this is a gravity control this arrow yellow arrow so let's put it to something like 20 because these are like really big so we want things to fall down like a bit slowly okay and then let's uh, go to the tool again and then let's select the ground and let's uh, go to generous thing add static collider and now uh, everything gonna collide with the ground the thing's gonna stay like that okay that's cool so let's continue the animation on this guy so once it hits break we don't want it stuck like here so we can uh, just keep going a little bit more frames here and then we can animate it to go down like that uh, like that and then maybe raise raise it up a little bit and push it down you know so it maintains so let's press play so hits break and then stay like that let's uh, check the animation graph editor here make sure it doesn't slow down so let's push this guy like this so keep the same speed going okay so now let's start working on this uh, second column here we can fix the crashing later uh, let's see so this guy get hit 
and uh, we can have this top section here breaks first so let's do that and then let's make it a break in a more interesting way so we can go to this node demolition to directional and then click convert dynamics i did a mistake so i'm gonna undo we can always we need to go to frame one and then click convert dynamics and then generate directional and then completed you can have you can see here there's nodes created the arrow uh, this arrow gonna wherever you point the arrow the dynamics gonna move as long as you have directional strength so let's go back to frame 61 like 62 when it's gonna moves a little bit let's have it these things break so let's go 61 simulation is zero sorry 60 simulation is zero 61 starts so now they float like that so we need the gravity same let's add a 20 and then this field because now things just gonna uh, go down like this way and we want it to kind of like shatter a little bit so we can animate this field as well so if i go here to frame 61 we can have this field start let's say 20 and then go like a few frames and then set it to zero so let's see if we go like that so it kind of breaks a little bit more we can go this more like let's say 40 so they're breaking even more like that uh, and then let's see let's have uh, some direction strength on them so we can have it start with uh, like 200 uh, set a key here and then go a few frames like that and then set it to zero so now they're gonna get pushed that direction now 200 obviously is too strong so let's make it like 20 let's go back play from beginning just make sure okay so now they get pushed uh, but maybe we can increase it not 20 maybe let's make it 40 and let's make sure we play from frame one so give the simulation the time to calculate correctly so you can see now they like that and then we can also have this field uh, more stronger so instead of 40 let's go like 70 this way the effect is gonna be stronger on them let's go frame one and play so it kind of breaks like that it's not very realistic in terms of like what i'm doing now it's maybe too much uh, so we can have this uh, for example arrow direction strength if we go to like 20 just make it a bit weak press play hit and then we want when this guy fall down here we want to break it uh, apart as well you know we can like actually select this guy and then adjust the animation a little bit on it so when it hits here let's make it shift uh, like toward this way you know we don't want them to be uh, completely on top of each other so like hits and then uh, kind of change direction it's here and then once it hit we can have the direction change faster like that so hits change and then fall down you know just to make it more uh, realistic Let's see, so goes down like that, hit, and then yeah, moves. Okay, that's cool. And then after that, we can like start working on this this guy. So let's see. So we want these guys here. Let's see. I think that's enough. Maybe a little bit more and let's deselect some parts so make it more random the selection and then let's see so around 120 okay so let's go back to frame one and then uh, just create regular demolition on them convert to dynamics generate demolition demolition completed and then let's select it and let's go column three let's add it to column three So 
so let's go and uh, just select one and arrow up so let's go frame 19 and then 20 we have a simulation goes to one then breaks like that so this guy goes down breaks fall and then this guy breaks again and then let's let's do breaking on this guy as well so let's select some of these guys here you know and then and then when it hits frame like 60 6 76 the hit so we can go back and then uh, convert the dynamics and generate the munition and we want to add this to, to group to column 4 Okay, so let's select one of them and then arrow up to select the demolition group. So let's go 75 and then click 0 here to key it. One frame to 76 and then press 1 to simulation starts. So this one breaks as well. So, so let's go back and then let me save the scene and then let's press play. okay that's cool so we can adjust the gravity a little bit more for example we could make it like 30 and let's make sure we adjust it here as well 30 and this is gonna speed them up a little bit they're falling okay or maybe we can put it to 25 just midway You know, you can always experiment with these settings and see like which one will feel right to your scene. Uh, let me just hide everything and just show the polygons now. So this way we have a uh, easy view to look at. So let's start working on uh, the um, intersections here. So the easiest uh, way to do this is basically uh, we can uh, hide the stuff. So let's select this guy. Okay, so let's hide. For example, this group, anything that already have a simulation on them and you can see them here in purple. We can just hide them. Just hide visibility. Just hide. Just hide all these guys. So now we left with uh, all these and these are not, it uh, doesn't have any dynamics on them. So let's go here to general settings. We don't need this demolition anymore. And then select these guys. And let's add static colliders. It gives you this ferrule. That's a bullet thing. So we don't need to worry about it. And then select these guys as well. And then add static colliders. Okay, so now you can see they have a static colliders. And then here you can adjust the shape. Now it's set to hull. Okay, now we need to show back everything we just had. Uh, so let's open this guy column. Show it here. And this guy, we have two groups on it. Let's show it. Okay, so let's press play. spray from different angles seems to work like I don't see the intersections anymore let's see they're going around is there anything going through there is some going through in here so if you have something like uh, things going through there's multiple things we can do uh, to fix this first you can adjust the bullet solver and now it's set to uh, 60 so 120 will give you more more realistic it will slow down a little bit but will give you more realistic results so you can see now uh, they don't go through each other so let's fix it another thing if it's not fixed you can always uh, go back 
and uh, work on animating uh, the breaking points you want to make sure the breaking uh, point it doesn't happen uh, while it's already intersecting you want it to happen a little bit before so this is uh, so here it's already like intersecting so that could be and this is here when the simulation started so this could be one reason we could fix it just push it one frame back so we give it uh, more time for bullet to to process the simulation so they don't go through each other as you can see here so that's like one of the things you can do to to have the intersection get fixed so let's play you can see no intersection anymore they, they hit they hit the column and they just fall down they don't go through it anymore so so yeah as you can see here we just fixed this one and uh, you can always play you can like uh, go back here then we can experiment if we put it back to 60 and then see if there is uh, like uh, intersections happening or no so it seems no not much but i recommend it depends on your scene and what you're doing sometimes 60 works really well but uh, sometimes also 120 works better for the calculations so you can see here it seems like 120 for our scene works uh, really well so let me uh, uh, just go wireframe here and then we can do play blast so as you can see it looks pretty good like there's no intersections and then we have the the timing like everything uh, like what we want that's pretty cool so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it helpful and uh, please feel free to check in the description uh, the tool i have link uh, into it so you can check it on our website see what you can do hopefully it's going to be really valuable uh, for your projects and it's going to help you save a lot of time so take care and have a great day